Hey coach, before we jump into this week's video, had to show you my new coach bundle. You can either find it here at the top or you can scroll down and get all the details here. But look at this. It is everything that I offer in one. You're going to get over 200 offense plays, 24 defense plays with tips, explanations, recommendations, 40 drills, 32 practices, 40 plus exclusive videos. That's because I give you my boot camp plus templates and it includes 10 wristbands and my coach's kit. You know I love this clipboard and of course you got to have cones and the agility ladder. Grab that whether you're a new coach or send it over to somebody else who needs this. This is the way to go. We made it simple on the site. If you're 5v5, click here. 6v6, it's here. 7v7, it's here. That is the way to go. As always, subscribe and you'll get 10% off. Let's jump into this week's video. Hey everyone, this is Coach D. Today we're talking about rebuilding your team or perhaps you're starting from scratch and so you want to build a team whether they go to the championship or they just want to win games together this is all about team building i lived in castle rock for several years i had one team back to back undefeated went to tournaments crushed it just absolutely obliterated right and then i moved to colorado springs and i had to start from scratch and i dislocated my shoulder and i was out for a couple seasons there are always scenarios where you're going to have to rebuild so let's talk about some fundamentals some strategies to help you do just that number one identify leaders look if you've had a team in the past and they are coming back let's say you had a team of 10 and half of them are coming back the other half either are are aged out or they've moved or they just decided not to play anymore you have a couple of leaders that know your system know your drills that know how you operate and so you want them to arrive 10 to 15 minutes early to the first meet and greet and you want to meet with them and sit with them and say look i need you to be a leader this season and what that means is when we're doing our drills i want you to lead by example I want you to show us good form. I want you to get into the huddle or out of the huddle, or if you're using wristbands, here's how to do it. I need you to step up as a leader. So I'm not only identifying, but I'm having conversations with those leaders before the season even starts. Number two is I start to identify strengths early and I communicate that with the parents. The way that you're gonna get buy-in from the parents for them to show up on time, for them to be at every practice, for them to be prepared, for them to be hungry and ready to go is the parents' influence. So if you can tell the parents, look, I, I'm gonna groom them to be an incredible running back because I can just see the potential there and I'm gonna really spend as much time as I can with your son, then they're bought in. They wanna be there early. Even if they're going to be rotated, let's say, into center or, you know, as a linebacker on, on defense, you know, right in the front. They don't have like a special skill. That's okay. You want to identify something special about each player and then make that abundantly clear to the parent. And then as I've said before, you want to partner with the parent. We're building something here, something special. This is not just flag football. This is going to change these kids' lives. I'm gonna ask for your partnership on that. I'm gonna ask for your help. And then you wanna be very clear on what you've seen about their kid. Look, today I saw that effort, that work ethic. Like there is nobody like Jack. Jack comes out here hungry and ready to go. And I can't wait to see what he does. And then number three is you wanna give the parents something to help with throughout the week. For example, getting in the way. Right. If we're talking about flag pulling and I just want the, the players to just get big throughout the week, then I might go to a couple of parents and I might say, look, we had a great practice today. Love what Jack is doing. Thank you so much for being part of the team. You know, one thing I'd love for, for this week is for Jack to get in the way throughout the week. So in the kitchen, you know, he's getting big. I want you to check this form throughout the week. And what you're doing is not that you're giving them homework, but you're, you're showing that you care and you're giving a, a simple principle that if they can master that and bring that with them next week, they're already 
way ahead of the game. Number four is you want to use the same system you did in previous seasons. Similar drills so that right away the kids are like, oh, I love that drill. Let's do the centipede, right, where you have the four cones out on the field and you do something right away that's easy, that's exciting, that gets them moving and the momentum pumping. In my complete coach package, I have these schedules. And in the schedules, it tells you exactly which drills to do every single week. Well, I put those there because they're easy, it gets people moving, and it gets everybody excited because they're actually doing some flag football work. So I would include those early in. So a couple of those are ladder cut, the shuffle pull, the centipede, so any kind of one-on-one -on -one work, that's always exciting. And if you have players who have played before, they already know the drill, they can start showing up early, right away. Number five is I would start using wristbands. See, wristbands make it super easy for new players to pick up the plays and where they're supposed to be on the field. If I know that I'm C and I can look here, I've seen, okay, you've put cones out and then I look here right before the play, I'm like, okay, all right, so I'm gonna do a post, right? That little bit of confidence gives me the edge. It helps me build a team together faster. Also, if I am gonna do a huddle we're coming together and we're all looking together. If I have questions, I can just go to another player and be like, okay, on number two, uh, is that a, a quick slant? Am I supposed to be like five yards out? Yes, right? So that little bit of camaraderie starts to build the team together. So start using wristbands as early as you can, even with first grade, second grade, etc., all the way up to eighth and beyond. Number six is team building. One of my favorite leaders in the startup world, uh, when he first gets a team, is they go out to main event, Haven Busters, or to the arcade, bowling. They go out together and outside of the corporate environment or outside of that startup or outside of the sales team or outside of this football team, they start to build some bonds. So when they see each other, it's like, hey, yes, this is awesome, right? So I wanna put all my effort in because we know each other. So get together before the season even starts and start building some camaraderie together. Number seven, have a game plan. Be prepared every single week. Get with your assistant, get with some of the parents, and decide on your rotations, on the plays you're going to run, on the adjustments you might need to make, on the defense formation. These are simple ways that when the parents and the players see that you're prepared, they know that you have bought in just as much as they need to, they usually come together. So make sure you're prepared. And number eight, cast the vision for where you're headed. Whether it's, hey, we're looking for a championship, or we wanna to go to the tournament, or we wanna compete, or whatever it might be that's in your head, in your mind, you wanna start casting that vision. It's not just, all right guys, let's just get over here and let's practice, let's do this drill. During your meet and greet, take that opportunity to say, hey, we're doing something different here, and I want all of you to be part of it. And I'm gonna need every single one of you to be part of this vision, this mission, as we go out and do X, Y, and Z. So, I'm gonna be sending out some communication. We need snacks, we need uh, a team manager, we need, right, we need kids showing up prepared, we need this, that, and the other. Whatever your expectations are that are gonna help you get to that point, that's painting that picture right there with them so that they buy in and then you come together you do a nice little cheer together and all of a sudden you're one team so then you're not chasing you're not begging right you are building that from the very beginning and that is how you will win both on and off the field when you do that you constantly communicate you update you respond you coach in the moment like i've always talked about you lift the kids up in front of their parents, tell them specifically what they are great at, what you've noticed about them. You've identified leaders and you're bringing them into the practice. You're having them show the way. All of those little things incrementally will build a powerful, unstoppable team. Don't fret, don't freak out, 
even though you have a brand new team or you have a bunch of new players, you got this coach. Go out there and make it happen. And look, I'm here to provide anything that I possibly can. I've got every type of playbook and bundle you can imagine, whether it's equipment, whether it's schedules, whether it's drills, whether it's wristbands, anything you need, I'm here. I'm also available for 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one spots. You can check out some of the reviews. Coaches are loving that. We're just game planning together, strategizing what that looks like from rotations to plays, to playbook, to drills, to adjustments, to anything else you can imagine, we can discuss. This is your time, not mine. All right, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. It's about to hail out here. Things are about to happen. Let's go.